Tyree, try your bones to this. PM, so thing if you're gonna take it now. I got my wife. I got my. Hey, looks on the clock. 9.83 seconds. We expect. All right. Okay. Okay. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Welcome to the social media countdown. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, one, two, three, and four. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Box cover, this is Dutty Berry, and welcome to another top 10 social media countdown. So let's get right into these stories. Okay, big up yourself. Labor Day, hopefully, who, you know, were working and not just lightering at home. Okay, let's get into the top 10 countdown. <laughs> The dusty yeah, the berry yeah, the juicy yeah, the scoop. All the things are going on, it missing on the news. Tell your sister and your auntie said the corner coming soon. All the drama where you want, you fit tune into the youth. Like yo, hey, box cover, I'm cover all the topics like a evening pot cover, mix up, blender, all them soak me, I will have me not a week, yo, just tune in, scene. All right, so people may have to interrupt the social media countdown because I never prepare for this story. This has to do with Lincoln 3 dot ex girlfriend star Da Queen. Now she recently appeared on the Fix podcast and she revealed this. Ben, what oh, did oh, you oh, say? Oh, oh, we never asked him the reasons. We we'll ask you. Okay. Yeah, because um, apparently he broke up with you, right? Yeah, he did break up with me, and everyone thinks I broke up with him. Yeah. So we're going. Yeah, we know, yeah, you know, I, it's just like I hate bringing this up and it's something we tried to keep private, but I'm here. I might as well say it. Yeah. We found out we're cousins. No, sir. No, sir. I don't real life this. This is not real life. No, the girl never just come on the show and reveal that she and our one time man actually a cousin. This feel like a little Addy moment all over. And Lincoln <laughs> is my cousin. Like actually, wow. He is my cousin, so we broke up. And that's why people like, oh, you're a man clown, you're dumb. But that's my fam. What up, cuz? Anyway, you're there, big up yourself. I feel like she laughing because it's joke she had tell. I, I joke, joke she had make, right? You serious? She's just Come shocked on. that I admitted Come it. On, no. <laughs> No, the part of the the part of the story I actually want for here if it's actually first cousin, second cousin, third cousin are like, you know, the royal family type of cousin situation because I feel like that not really, really count. But I will jump into the story further in um a countdown quickie. So I don't want you miss that out to you. Please to go and check it out right up here. So click the link and check out that countdown quickie where I'll be talking more in detail about this piece of drama. Number 10, Sean Paul and Beyonce's rumors. Oh my gosh. So burritos, in case you never you never hear about this story before. So back in the day, back in the heyday, the early 2000s, there was a rumor that um Beyonce might be dating Sean Paul. I do not know who started it, where it came from, but it used to go around the place. Certified quality, quality. And that the girl I'm need and I cry for every day without apology. So word on the street at the time was that Jay-Z didn't like that Sean Paul was allegedly must getting close to him woman and all kind of things and so that is why you never really saw Beyonce and Sean Paul physically together in the scene for the duration of the music video. So Sean Paul has been talking about this for quite some time. I think they I think they've only performed probably about once or twice. One was at the MTV Video Music Awards. <laughs> And I think another one when Beyonce and Destiny's Child came to Jamaica for some fest. So, so yes, sir, Sean Paul is saying that Jay-Z never want him to be close to Beyonce and basically tell her, tell him for back off. In a recent interview, Sean Paul confirmed that although Beyonce's husband, rapper Jay-Z, has co-writer credit on the song and he was fine with the collaboration happening, he didn't want Sean Paul getting too close to his wife. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. 
you might say look like said jay-z was you know quite protective of beyonce and um so when the rumors go come out now say beyonce is dating or might be rumored to be linking with sean paul beyonce confronted sean paul about it and, and probably i say yo where the whole of this start and sean paul was like i have nothing to do with it go and take up this with you and your man why you come to me with all kind of insecurity and so that is what sean paul is de detailing that it got quite a little bit messy because beyonce I guess was trying to figure out if he had something to do with the rumor and um it seems as if you know there was another another artist as well who spoke about be, um, Jay Z being very overprotective and controlling of Beyonce. So I'd love to hear from you, Burritos, what you really think. Me want to leave you know, with this reenactment of um, that Zawa TV did. <laughs> <laughs> Number nine, Shakari X responds, me gungu. Okay, so on the last half social media countdown, I mentioned to you that Shakari, um, you know, she took to social media to basically talk about she was in love in a, in a toxic relationship with a Jamaican athlete. And um, now we know that the athlete name is Janique. Janique never took this lightly. Janique did not like what Shakari did. And so she, I guess, you know, and, and, and I guess it is important that she had to speak up for herself and she did it with quite a number of profanity. Take a listen. I don't know better we are gonna stop bump and play around with people. We are gonna let I run wrong like some bum chicken head and I use bum man energy for use bum thing. You have your light now one go use it. Never see how far it bring you up. Stop blowing I was saying I was saying call what you doing what you doing what you doing what you doing You can't see my army my army can't see yours Know that. Know that. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh wow, no, Jesus Pim. I don't think I've heard the word clat so many times in, 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 in like one minute. I don't think I've heard any one any one Jamaican personality like Ota that um bad word so many times. Like that was a lot, that was a bossy as no, moving on to, to other things, Shakari she opened her her um her track season with a 11, 11 27 run at uh, a Denver track meet. And but the first race that she ran, um she 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 won. And but that was kind of bad weather condition. Tonisha Terry Richardson coming on strong and Richardson. Then she had another run and she placed fourth. And uh, I mean, yeah. Kari in four. Tonisha Terry is in three. I know I'm hearing that she'll be at the next Night Classics uh, event and she'll be facing off with Elian Thompson here. So let's see how that will unfold. But readers, let me know what you have to say about this whole entire saga. Sound off below. Number eight, custom stir fry, Milo Meng. Okay, um, so I saw this video on Spark, Sparky, Spark, Sparks Instagram page, um, with this Jamaica college student going up to do the popular um dance called the stir fry. Now people may never expect to see this, but it was quite a treat. Take a look. Yeah, man, that is what you call a custom stir fry. I mean, I think nobody can stir fry like that. That, the brother here put film stir fry in a one different league. Him alone can own that lane. So, readers, let me know um, how, you, how you felt watching this video. Sound off in the comments. Number seven, Apostle claps back, Mr. Peas. Okay, Burritos, and, and, and one of the, the, the earlier social media countdowns, I mentioned this story of the Apostle by the name of, let me see if we can get him named, by the name of Omar Reed. Um, he came to Jamaica to, I guess, do some preaching and this video went viral when, I guess, some members of the congregation decided to give him a little bit of an airlift. Yeah, man, so you remember that video. No people, one of the burritos sent me this video because I guess the apostle went live recently and somebody commented something and whatever that comment was it was unfavorable he did not like it and he went off on this um i guess this random social media user it's contradicting maybe nobody in the bomb has ever dealt with you but i deal with you 
You got the wrong one. You got the wrong one. Jezebel, you don't know me. I got my wife. I got my, and we got six kids. The reason why we got six kids, because we're doing it every night. Maybe because you ain't getting none, so you frustrated. Ooh. Maybe you're not having an orgasm. So you back to, you need a release. Lord Jesus. I looked at her page. She's so black and ugly. I don't see no glory on her. Well, okay, um, that is what you call a clock magnification. That was quite uh, serious. I, you know what? I am going to give that brother, Mr. Apostle Reed, the freedom to express himself however he chooses. On that Jezebel dog, gonna be sending my name around, talking about some home, according to the law of the land. God is a God of order. Jezebel Patrice Smith, bring your black self on here with your dry wig weave. Come, come on here. That is not the order of your bulldog spirit. Y'all bring her on here. Bring that Jezebel on here. With her bulldog spirit. I'm, I'm pretty sure she demasculate her husband. She's a Jezebel because Jezebel did not respect uh, uh, Ahab. You know, I guess some people, you have your good days and you have your bad day. And that day, I guess he just decided to just like don't have a field and, you know, bring out a little bit of that um, tracation realness. And um, I guess, you know, he has the right to do so. All I know is that, you know, that got many people talking and I guess he just allowed social media to dry him out. But readers, I'd love to hear from you. What do you have to say about um, the apostles clap back? Sound off in the comments down below. Number six, hurdles show down. Me, 100 meter, well, 110 meter hurdles. Anyway, so uh, recently, uh, Hansel Parchment and Omar McLeod faced off in London for the 110 meter meet. What, what is wrong with me? 110 meter hurdles. Take a look. Yes, sir. so Mr. Stir Fry himself was first place and in second place was Omar McLeod. No, Hansa Parchment now has a world leading time in the 110 meter hurdles and I'm sure he must be quite elated to, to, to really kickstart his season with an excellent run like that. I'm mean, have to say congratulations. It is just like, I think it's extraordinary that Jamaica can boast that we have the likes of a Hansa Parchment and a... Uh, and uh, um, the, the Omar McLeod, like that has got to be good for the country because no, I'm just really excited to see the world championships and the next Olympics. Hopefully, Ansley is still running. So, Beridos, let me know what you have to say about this race. Who did you expect to win? And um, what do you think will happen next? So, enough below. Number five, Cowfoot Pizza, me maca diamond. Okay, so Beridos. You know what? There is a new creative cooking type of person in the the, the social media space, and his name oh, his name is Ramesh D'Souza. Ramesh D'Souza. I hope I'm getting this brother's name correct. Me down below if I get it wrong. And he is basically taking TikTok by storm because what he's able to do is to just like really bring a new a new twist to what we consider or know as creative cooking he takes regular food items that you wouldn't think of utilizing in certain ways and he creates like um culinary art that is the best way i can describe it and on this latest episode he decided to make a cow foot pizza take a look Let's make cow foot and mint pizza. Get me to a million follow. Why you eh? We're gonna start by a wash and seasoning the cow foot with seasoning of your choice. After that, we we'll marinate. We're gonna leave this in the fridge overnight. The next day, we we'll pressure. Meanwhile, that's pressuring. The vegetables are onion, bell pepper, hot pepper, thyme leaf, mixed veg. When the cow foot is ready, we're gonna add water if we need to. Homemade bean, vegetables, and cook for a couple more minutes. To a cup, we're gonna add water and yeast to activate. Flour, sugar, salt, mustard powder, boy, egg, cooking oil, the yeast from before, blended mint, and need to make a dough. Voila. Add butter to the dough and knead a second time. Fold the dough in itself. Then roll this out. Grease your pan heavily with oil and apply the dough. Cut off any excess hanging over, then fold in to make the crust. Cover, let it rise for an hour. Tomato sauce. If the crust is too thick, you can always fix it with your fingers. Mix cheese, mozzarella, d-bone and minced cow foot. Some of the gravy. Then re-add everything a second time and bake. Brush the edges with olive oil and let it cool. You want to help me up in my restaurant, donate to my GoFundMe. The link will be in my TikTok and Instagram bio. This was amazing, people.
Oh, wow. Yes. You know, I would never think of this. I would have never got to a restaurant and looked and looked on the menu and say, call food pizza and add it. But just the way how you put it together, me actually would have taken a slice. Because now, me, 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 I wonder what is next? What can we expect next from this brother? Me no know. Mm -mm. Tell you, man, this is what you call creative cooking in 2022. Uh, sound off below if you would try this cold food pizza. Mm -hmm. Number four, civil scorches. My word, my sentence, burritos. So, may I tell you about this? There is, in a track and field, we always have to celebrate and big up the woman them because they're consistently good. But you see, every now and then, we have a spectacular talent, like a male talent that just comes up and just make themselves known. And it seems as if Oblique Civil, the 21-year-old Jamaican sprinter, is shaping up to, 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 to do just that. In the set position, God has sent them away. Seville gets up well, so to Conroy Jones. But a bleak Seville takes charge and powers away from the field. Seville looks on the clock. 9.83 seconds. We expected it. We expected it. That's a flash time. We expected it. Personal best. We said it before. This was the meet is going under 10 seconds. 9.86 seconds. I'm looking on the win. No, sir. No, sir. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I never that much just say a while ago. 9.86 seconds. You, 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 you just understand what this you just do? He is now 21 years old, you know, man. And he is training with um, um, with Glenn Mills. And if you don't know who Glenn Mills is, are the same brother that wedded coach, the living legend, Usain Bolt. Yo, that is just a spectacular run. He is now the sixth fastest Jamaican in history. Just take a look at all of the people, that, that the company that he is in right now. So, burritos, make sure you just mark out that name, you know, Oblique Civil. He is definitely one to watch right now because the future gone. All right, now. Right now, we just like watch his performances on the track. Mm. <laughs> General John Stone. Say something now. What go on, generals? There, you know, general. Number three, Lion Attack. Me Jamaica Zoo. Okay, burritos know. So, um, I'm sure you have seen this video now where a zookeeper's finger was bitten, was bitten like, like, just like, name right off. I mean, if you know the, the con you know what, me just said that a while ago because I could remember the correct English, like, arrangement, grammatical, I don't know. It's like my brain just slow right now. I don't know what is happening, but just bear with me, bear readers. Okay? So, yeah, man. So, recently, one lion near my half, one zookeeper finger. Gee, you, see, you see, that's why you have to love Patwa. Sometimes, when you don't know of a family, it's a sentence in English. Patwa is always there to the rescue. A round of applause for Patwa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. So, the other day, one zookeeper finger didn't get near my half because he decided to taunt... Uh, one of the lions at the Jamaica Zoo. <laughs> no, honestly, I'm still in shock. Like, I can't believe that the brother would have done this, but what I'm hearing now and I'm seeing several videos online is that it seems to be a common practice at the zoo where, you know, you know them will, I guess, like tease the, tease the lions there so they can be a little bit more festive and make some noise because at the end of the day, I know that there are a lot of persons who go to the zoo and they more to see the lion, them being a lion, like, lion pa, and the whole of that and walk around like, Simba, Musafa, and that them one, but, Sometimes when you got the zoo, them the lion them just asleep and just relax and a, and a kick back and a wait for the Wi-Fi password. And them just they're like them just high and just a, you know a build back and a easy pan the ends. But sometimes Jamaican people don't want that. So me feel like, you know, the, the people them the crowd they come sometimes and them forget blame because they want to see the lion put on a show, jump flick and split on them something there. But that practice definitely wrong and I'm just it's just so unfortunate that this brother has now has like shakari number of fingers so i just hope that moving forward that they'll do better I hopefully the brother resume him work and on bad minor ate the lion because honestly if i did me i'm a show back show back to work a peer cut me a cut me after the lion i just not sell a true word i not sell a walk and a sing holy person against lion i don't know if i'm gonna do like i don't know if i can play taurus riley but i don't know i forgot i forgot I don't know if I'm going to find some holy patrol song because 
Yeah, man. Me that all shot the lion food, so. <laughs> and Hope Zoo, Jesus Christ. Hope Zoo not have show shade from Jamaica Zoo. Because Hope Zoo will make it known, say it in a different category. I enough to mix it with the one in a St. Elizabeth. <laughs> Anyway, burritos, let me know what you thought of this unfortunate situation. Number two, woman proposal. Me gongo peas, my word, my sentence, my paragraph four. Okay, so let me just tell you this, you know, you see, this is 2022 and people are all about equality. You know, the feminists out of them look at talk and everybody's all about, you know, like, you know, switching what people consider certain gender norms or role reversals. We're in that space right now. And keeping with this current contemporary life, um, women now have a space where they can get on their knee and propose to the man of their dreams. Take a look at this video. He said yes. Shut up. <laughs> oh, 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 geez, um, okay, okay, so, um, this, 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 this cute, this is, this, this nice, I, if them love it, me love it, if they love it, repeat it after me, if they love it, me and we should love it. That girl got Panar freshly coca butter lotion the knee and proposed to that man um, what it looked like, say it was at Maka. I am, um, I, I, it's, it's interesting and it will take some getting used to, but like bigger up because she did that with her chest. The brother there does a cock out theme thing and I feel like a real dolly right there, so you know, because I'm not like a girl proposed to you. I mean, I think you can just hold it like a G. You have to go create a little excitement. Like, I mean, you know, a girl proposed to you, you have to. Flick on like the hot girl roll, you have to be like, oh my god! And call the bridge name, I'm like, yo dog, look here, look here, carry proposing now. No, sir. Mm -mm. <laughs> you can't just do it regular, regular, and boring, so you have to put up some little, some little excitement. So for the gentlemen who are out there, if you know you have your woman and you feel like your woman is one of them forward thinking type of person there who might propose to you, and you know she's going to carry you out and she's not normally carry you out like that, put on your good clothes, go and go trim, fresh up yourself differently and wait for your moment because it's your moment, you know. So you see, the minute when she, she go down on her knee and stuff like that, right there and then, you, you know it's not in short time. <laughs> <laughs> but burritos, to the women who are watching this, is this something that you would do? Would you be opening, open to actually proposing to your boyfriend? Sound off below. Hey yo, this is Sean Paul of a flossing and you don't know we're endorsing the Dutty Berry social media countdown. Keep it locked. And number one goes to... <laughs> Ding Dong New Music Video! Woo! My word, my sentence, my paragraph, my essay, my bibliotheca. So number one goes to Ding Dong's Bones music video. All right, so you know Ding Dong has been laying low a little bit during the pandemic. You know, it, um, Lali kind of took over the dancing space and, and people were just like waiting for Ding Dong's return. And it looks like, say, he's putting all of that to rest because he's back again doing what he does best and is to introduce a new dance, a new vibrant music video that will get the people moving yet again okay and so now this new dance now and i want to go one step this is full on TikTok choreography so like if you think of just one little movie you have to learn you have to go get your little eight nine and ten count them so that you can participate um in this type of um movement with your crew 
take a look. Skip your when me there. Swing your one from left to right, know this. Alright, I'm gonna catch it here. Alright, 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 I don't want you. No one are we, no one are we, no one are we. Tag them out there. Beat them like a whipping on me and me now look. No, 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 no. I catch your bones, huh? Skipping in me, them. We're going to get a nigga, a nigga, a nigga. them, they hear a talk when them see we them now. Nigga, nigga. Oh, no, no, no. All right, when I'm so catch it, I am going to work on this dance. Yeah, man, so that is it. So, burritos, let me know if you're enjoying this new dance from Ding Dong and let me know if you catch it as yet. Okay, well, we've come to the end of another top 10 Dutty Berry social media countdown. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button, turn on the post notifications. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. Share the video with your friends, your family. Um, uh, to follow me on my social media at Dutty Berry Show all over right here. So, as well as to, if you want to advertise within the social media countdown, send me an email to right here right here right here okay take care until next time <laughs> 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 the dusty are the berry yeah the juicy are the scoop all the things are going on and missing on the news tell your sister and your auntie said the corner coming soon all the drama what you want you for tuning to the youth like yo hey box cover and cover all the topics like a evening pot cover mix up blender all them suck me i will have me not a week yo just tune in scene